Today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at this offering from Ace Magician. This is their mini PC, and when I say mini, I mean very tiny. That's what attracted me to picking this up and uh, being interested in reviewing this because it's super tiny. I've reviewed mini PCs on this channel all the time, but this one looks to be the tiniest one. Still has some impressive specifications though. We got 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, 512 gigabytes of internal storage. We got a 12th generation Intel Alder Lake processor, uh, clocking up to speeds of 3.6 gigahertz, Wi-Fi 4K output for up to three displays, it says. I'm very curious to see how this turns out. Let's go ahead and open this package up. Nothing really to write home about as far as packaging inside the box. Got our little mini PC setup instruction manual there. The device itself, like I said, this thing is tiny. Very slim trim design. We have our power button here on the front. Around the side, we've got three USB 3.0 ports. On the back, we've got two ethernet ports. We've got our DC 12 volt in. 3.5 millimeter audio out. We got some ventilation here for heat dissipation, as well as the bottom. It's kind of has a raised ring, that allows for heat to dissipate, so it doesn't really cook itself. We've got three HDMI out ports right there, because like I said, this does allow for 4K resolution, three displays simultaneously, up to 60 frames per second. But I mean, that's that's it. It's a little bitty baby cube that supposedly. It's gonna pack a powerful punch. Let's see what else we have in the box of accessories. So we have a little mounting bracket and screws in case you wanna attach this to the underside of a desk or the back of a monitor. You get a single HDMI cable and then your power brick. And just to give you an idea of how small this PC is, I mean, look at that thing. Tiny, so this is a little adorable PC running Windows 11 Pro. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see what we can get now that we've got it unboxed got it set up we've got windows running got multiple displays connected giving it real world application tests we've got youtube video in high resolution over here you know surfing the web on ebay over here went ahead and ran the geekbench test so here is the cpu score nothing really to write home about as far as just you know your general cpu performance um, gpu as well not the greatest ever but what do you expect it has you know nothing but internal graphics inside all right so a quick real world stress test i've got three monitors hooked up all three of them running different various youtube videos with high resolution 4k monitor 4k monitor uh, this is a 1080p monitor they're all running 60 frames per second so we've got a couple of mixed resolutions but three hdmi's out uh I gotta say, first of all, this thing is still very whisper quiet, which is very impressive for such a uh, minute thing. Like I said, uh, my mouse here is uh, even bigger than the computer itself. Uh, one obvious drawback is those three USB ports. Um, you start connecting a lot of devices to this, you're obviously gonna need some sort of USB adapting dongle to give yourself more USB ports, but for a mouse and a keyboard and a third peripheral USB three, you know, that works out all right, but um, so far, I've noticed just a tad few uh, frame drops, but overall, I'm quite impressed with the fact that this thing can output multiple displays simultaneously, 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, and uh, you know the quality looks great. Uh, not a crazy amount of stuttering. Like I said, I am seeing a few frame drops here and there, but honestly, there's no reason I would be honestly watching three uh, high resolution videos simultaneously on three different monitors from such a small device but this thing definitely has a little more power than i anticipated from such a tiny little computer i'm interested in how much emulation as far as how powerful uh, emulators i can run on this little bad boy obviously this is not meant to really be a gaming pc it's more suited for just you know uh, medium level activity as far as use case scenario with general browsing, surfing, streaming, watching the web. Um, this would make a little nice little media PC if you're doing any kind of cloud gaming. This would work really well for that. But overall, I'm not really expecting some crazy high level um, emulation performance, but you never know. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna set all the emulators to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and you can see what kind of performance we get out of this little tiny, tiny PC. Running Oh, 
Oh boy, I can't wait to see what happens next. A thoughtful force is activated. Oh my! Moves in. Joseph takes it in the chest. Hoodler with the puck. Chianic in the corner. Puts one on goal. Joseph rejects it. Fisher moves in. Drives one towards the net. Laleem got a piece of that one. Great moves in. To Chianic. Only ten left! So at the end of the day, I gotta say, I'm actually very impressed with this little Ace Magician tiny mini PC. I mean, it lives up to its name as far as being small, compact. Uh, it performed so much better than I honestly expected as far as the emulation. I thought we'd be maxing out at PlayStation 1, uh, but in reality, this did PlayStation 2, it did Dreamcast, it did GameCube, Nintendo Wii, uh, you know, Wii U. It, it did quite a bit, arcade games, you name it. Very impressed with the, the level of gaming on this, and even though this is not really meant to be a gaming PC, I think you're going to be happy with it as far as retro game emulation for most of those systems. If you're wanting any newer systems beyond like PlayStation 2 or GameCube, uh, this definitely isn't it. But like I said, cloud gaming wise, you can do that. Uh, hook this up to the PlayStation as well as the Xbox cloud gaming streaming services, and it works great. Uh, media streaming PC, this would do a good job, and just being a, a small, compact little travel PC that you can throw in a bag and uh, hook up in a hotel or somewhere, definitely worth checking out. If you're interested, I'll put a product link down in the video description box below. If you like the content, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.